Welcome back to the official TrueScape Masterclass. Today, we're going to learn how to use the spin cam for some more advanced and creative flip to grind techniques. The common way to flip into grinds is to flip your deck into the position of the grind. This is great, but it limits our abilities to do certain tricks in and out of grinds. By activating the spin cam shortly after popping, we switch to get an over top view, which allows us to apply more intricate spin cam controls with grinds. Here's a nollie flip nose slide the regular way. And here's a nollie flip nose slide using spin cam and a little bit of slow motion. You can see that not only do you have more control, it just feels and looks more realistic. Using the spin cam puts you in this over top view and allows you to be more creative with tricks coming out of grinds. To do a realistic kickflip back tail kickflip out, I press the spin cam as soon as I pop the kickflip and hold it down as I grind and release just as I'm doing the final flip out. This same technique applies for a big spin back tail kickflip out. or maybe don't even flick and try to spin out instead. This also works for front side variations, like a kickflip front nose. You really do have so much control that the possibilities are limitless. Going fakie adds a whole new dimension to these tricks. Simply swipe to go into fakie and give yourself just enough time to pop before reaching the obstacle. This opens up a whole new door of possibilities. You can even go into fakie and then pop switch for some really cool modern variations. Now we've been getting pretty tech, but you can also use the spin cam for simple tricks like a nollie nose grind. And then have some fun. Ultimately, you want to combine these advanced spin cam flip controls and spin controls for unlimited creativity. Well, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys learned how to use the spin cam for more grind possibilities and flip in flip out variations. And I'll catch you in the next one.